Sam Colder is back. You still see me here and there on social media, but my focus has shifted. Well, not really, but we have a couple of things we can learn from his video. One of them is this scribbling effect on the screen. How to do this? We're going to learn in this one video. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome to this newest video. I'm Pixel Sammy and in this video, we are going to learn how to do this scribbling effect in any of the softwares out there. So the first and foremost thing which you have to do this is how to write this one scribble thing. This can be done in two ways. One, you can use your iPad if you have one. If you don't have one, you can just use Microsoft Paint on Windows or Photoshop on your Mac and just type any one of the words which you feel you want to put the effect on and just make sure to make six different frames in six different styles. So going back to the main video, once I'm opening my iPad, I'm going to type these two words right on the screen just like this. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing in five different styles in my iPad. Once that is done, all you have to do is just simply export these six images which you have just made and then import them in Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro or the editing software of your choice. The trick here is make sure to keep all the images up to two frames max. And once that is done, all you have to do is just copy the entire thing and then paste it in the later part and make sure to keep doing this for the entire duration of the effect and you are good to go. Once that is done, all you have to do is just simply resize them and if it is not a PNG format, then make sure to remove the background as well. You can do this by applying the Luma key effect or the keyer effect because the images are in black and white format. So just put the Luma key effect, it will just do the job. After that, just make sure to resize them. Place it with the other text just like this, which you can see on the screen right now. Once that is done, all you have to do is just simply put sound effects. Sound effects are a crucial thing for any kind of videos out there. And as you guys can see in Sam Kolder's videos, music and sound effect played a major role in the entire video altogether. Sam Kolder took his music and sound effects from Musicbed, but I'm going to use Epidemic Sound, which is the choice of music platform for me. The affiliate link is there in the description below if you want to check it out. With that being said, the one sound effect which can sell this one effect, it's called the rolling shutter sound effect. Just search it up on Epidemic Sound, download the WAV format or the MP3 format, whichever you feel like. WAV is my preference. Drag it onto your editing software. Just make sure to play with the sound levels a bit. For me, minus 14 to minus 18 is a good range. But if you have a good background music too, then make sure to keep the sound effect at around minus 24-ish. That will pretty much do the job. With that being said, another thing which you can give to the entire video is a good subtle background visual. So Sam Kulded has been shooting quite a bit and he has put a very good visual as a background. You can do the same. You can even add a 7mm or a 16mm film grain to the video as well to give it a little bit more added effect. Now I have made a lot of film grains back in the days like 2-3 years back. So just make sure to go to one of my previous videos and download the overlist from there. All the links are there in the description below if you want to check it out. If you want to check out the rolling shutter sound effect too, Epidemic Sound is your way to go. The link is there in the description below. This is the final result which we have just made and it looks pretty good. All you have to do is just simply put more sound effects, more background music, more fall if you want to and just sell this effect a little bit more. Maybe a bit more of a background voiceover as well, just like Sam Colder. It will sell the story a little bit more. And that's enough for today's video. Subscribe if you like this kind of videos. Comment down below about what you guys think of it. I'm Pixel Sammy and we'll be back with a new video soon. Peace out.